Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Brett's Up at Alp, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of my top 10 Cydia tweaks for July 10th, 2011. Now, some of these are paid, but the majority is free, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Why don't we kick things off with taking a look at one of the most well known Cydia tweaks in the Cydia store, which is called Barrel. And if you don't know what Barrel is, you basically just saw it right there. It is a tweak that allows you to have animations for paging through all your apps. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different animations that you can choose from. Just go to your settings and find Barrel. And uh, these are all the different animations that you can choose from. Uh, let's take a look at one of my favorite ones, which is called Icon Collection. And uh, that's pretty much just the animation. Uh, it's really cool and a fun tweak to have on your iDevice. It is currently going for $2.99 in the Cydia store, so definitely go pick it up. And uh, that's pretty much it for Barrel. Let's move on to number two. So this next one is going to be called Dreamboard. It is a theming application for your iDevice if you do not already know. And I think it does it quite well, better than Winterboard in my opinion. Uh, at the time of this recording it is free, so definitely go pick it up if you would like to. And uh, Dreamboard is right here, this little application. You just tap it and it brings you to this really nice menu. Uh, I'm not going to go through a whole d uh, review on it, but pretty much it is a theming application. Uh, you get the stock one right here. This one really does look clean. You get all your apps right here. So that's really nice. Uh, you can also choose different themes if you'd like instead of the stock one. Uh, you can choose box or HD. This is one of my favorite themes for Dreamboard. I have a few others, but I haven't bothered downloading them yet. So let's go take a look at box or HD. Uh, this one d does really look nice and clean, and I do like the overall layout. Uh, so that's pretty much it. You can always go back to your default one if you'd like just by tapping here and it'll load it up. It is really fast and I definitely think you should go pick it up. It is free right now and that is Dreamboard. Moving on to number three. Now number three is called FreeSync. It is currently going for one dollar in the Cydia store and what it is it basically allows you to use your iDevice while it is syncing instead of having to have that uh, syncing at the lock screen and you can't do anything else. It is pretty much almost like an iOS 5 where you can use your device while it's syncing uh, though FreeSync was around before iOS 5 came out. So um, yeah, let's just take a look at it. I'm going to sync my device on my computer and you'll see what happens. So clicking it now. I should see some activity. There you go. It is uh, just brought up a pop-up saying it's syncing and you get this red bar at the top also letting you know that it is syncing and you can see I can keep using my iDevice while it is syncing. You always have that red bar at the top just reminding you. Uh, so yeah, this is called FreeSync. It is one dollar. I definitely recommend you should go pick it up and in a second here you'll see that it'll there, alert me. There you go. Just finished syncing. It is really cool, and I definitely recommend you should go pick it up, as I already said a few hundred million times just there. Uh, it is one dollar, and if you have seen iOS 5, you will know that it is just awesome. It allows you to use your iDevice. So, moving on to number four. And number four, I was debating on whether or not I should add this into my tweaks uh, video that I'm doing right now, and this is called Installus. Basically, what it allows you to do is download paid apps from the App Store uh, for free. But the main reason I use this is just to test out those paid apps, play around with them for a day or two, and see if I actually want to pay for them. I do not pirate apps and keep them. What I do is I just, as I said, I download the paid apps from Installus, test them out, see if I like it, and then uh, delete it and then go buy it from the App Store, which is what I hope you guys all do, because you do need to support the developers uh, so they can keep creating better content. And you can see install this right here, and uh, let's go into the application. You basically search for your apps right here, and uh, then download them from, say, Mediafire, File Dude, whatever. And uh, that's pretty much install this, but please guys, support the developers. Do not keep and pirate uh, the applications. Go ahead and buy them. Now number five is one of my most recent videos that I did. It is called Label Slider. And what it does is it allows you to change the text right here from slide to unlock to say whatever you want. And you can see right here that I do have it set to slide for cookies. Uh, you can go ahead and go to settings and change it right there. You will see it right here, Label Slide. And uh, you can change the custom text to whatever you so choose as long as it's like this length. Uh, as you saw earlier, it does kind of... Um, fill up the whole entire bar, so just keep it to that length. And uh, that's pretty much the tweak. You can also set the time right here if you would like, so there you go, it just shows the time. I'm not going to get into it too much, you can check out my video on it that I did a while ago, but that is Label Slider. It is currently free in the app, in the Cydia store, uh, so go pick it up if you would like to change that text. 
And number six is a tweak that I actually covered quite a while ago. I think it was one of my first videos that I actually did. It is called Multi Icon Mover, and what it does is it allows you to move multiple icons at once. Uh, so just hold the icons until they jiggle and what you need to do is just tap each and every one of them that you want to move and you can see that there's a little check mark here so let's just say move these three let's go off to another page and all you need to do is just press the home button and poof they show up it is a really handy tweak if you have a lot of apps applications that you want to move and uh, currently it is free so go pick it up if you would like it really does help me out quite a bit whenever I say restore and all my apps get thrown out of alignment uh, for where I like to keep them but again, this is called Multi Icon Mover. Tap this one again. And uh, yeah, it is free. Go pick it up. And let's move on to number seven. Now, number seven is another one that you probably already have heard of. It is called SB Settings. And what SB Settings does is it basically allows you to have quick toggles from your springboard or any other place that has this little bar at the top. Uh, so this is what it looks like. Just slide across and it brings up these quick toggles. I'm not going to get into it too much. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know what it is. Uh, you can just set all these toggles here. You can have, where's brightness? There's brightness right here. You can set the brightness to whatever you want. Let's keep it there. And uh, you have all your processes here. It's pretty much a really cool um, toggle application. Uh, go pick it up. It is free if you do not already have it. Now, number eight is more like two tweaks, but they pretty much do exactly the same thing, and that is pull to refresh for mail and pull to refresh for Safari. They're both free in the Cydia store right now, and basically what they do is they add the pull to refresh for uh, that you would find in either Twitter or Facebook on the iOS platform. And uh, let's just take a look at it. Let's go into mail. I'm going to pull, pull down here, and you can see there's the little refresher thing. I'll let go, it will refresh, and uh, it just refreshes my mail. Obviously, I don't have new mail that I've picked up recently. And let's go to Safari, and uh, let's go to yeah, let's go to Apple. And let's just wait for this to load here in a second. And come on there. There we go. And let's pull down, and you can see right there, there's a pull to refresh. So if you don't want to actually like press a little refresh thing here. You can always pull down. It's a really useful tweak, uh, two tweaks rather. Uh, they're both free and they're actually two apps as I said already, or two tweaks as I already said. Uh, pull to refresh for mail and pull to refresh for Safari. Let's move on to number nine. And this next one is more like a whole bunch of different tweaks combined into one package, and that is called Springtimize. It is currently going for $2.99 from Cydia, and uh, you'll find it just by going to Settings and going to uh, scroll down until you see Springtimize. And uh, as I said, it combines a whole bunch of different tweaks and capabilities or toggles into one package. Uh, you'll have stuff for general, so you can set uh, just basically disabling stuff. Uh, you can set stuff for just capabilities, so you can turn on and off stuff for your iOS device. Go back here. You can set stuff for your icons, so that's basically all that. Uh, you can set stuff for your dock, your status bar, your lock screen, your folders, your app switcher, your buttons, your animations, and for theming. Uh, I'm not going to go through this all, but it is a really cool and useful uh, tweak you can find in Cydia. As I said, $2.99. Um, it's just a really great buy, so definitely go pick it up. And finally, number 10 is something that I wish Apple would have already clued in to add to iOS, and that is called Switcher Rotator. It is currently going for $0.99 cents in the Cydia store. Uh, let me just show you what it does first. Let's go to Notes. Let's flip my iPod landscape. And let me bring up the multitasking bar, so a double tap, and there you go. It brings up the multitasking bar landscape instead of it being portrait sideways like that. Uh, obviously, I really wish Apple would have included this into iOS, but obviously they have not. So Switch Rotator does the trick. It is currently going for $0.99 cents in the, or the Cydia store. Um, so just go pick it up if you'd like, and it really does make things easier for you, and it does for me at least. And that pretty much sums up all the tweaks, or the top 10 tweaks, uh, for July 10th, 2011 for me personally. Uh, leave your comments down below any um, tweaks that you like uh, on your iDevice. Uh, maybe your top 10. Comment on basically my top 10. I uh, just want to hear your feedback and that's pretty much it for my video for top 10 tweaks for this date. Uh, so uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's try to get that there. And also subscribe up top if you would like as well. And uh, as I said, comment down below your top 10 tweaks or top 5, whatever. Just put your favorite tweaks down below. And uh, until next time, guys, I hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.
Now moving on to